Traffic's flowing. Left, right. No lights on. You ever wondered what points men get up to? On this episode of Let's Do Lunch, we're gonna find out. Let's take a look. So, Brother Arrow. Yes, boy. Thanks again, man. I wanted to find out, how did you find your way into this profession? How did you become a points man? Uh, it's patient. Okay. Yeah, yeah uh, my passion here, it, it started long, long time ago as I fell in love with this job when I started joining the team. We started uh, working here very young, grew up with the company, so a few here. Mm. Yeah. And what does one have to do in terms of training to become a pointsman? Like, what is the what is the course you take? How does it work to become a pointsman? Uh, we we are trained by JMPD okay. as their major stakeholder on this business. Mm -hmm. So they're the one who does that training. Uh, firstly, when you apply, you apply here. Yeah. Everything's been done internally, yeah. and then we uh, take a group of people, send them to the academy for training. Okay. Once they're done, they start working here yeah, right. and join the team. We yes. have a, a group of uh, large people here. Yeah. We might be small on the road, but there's a lot of us, lot and of there's too much now on the road. For the, the passion of traffic, yeah. Okay. And so we're going to start with something. What is it that we're going to start off here with the office before we go work on the road? What do you guys do before you uh, start? Firstly, when we arrive in the morning, mm. we get dressed up. Okay. Uh, we meet as a team, and then we have our parade that we do on daily basis before we leave the ship. What are some of the best experiences you've had on the road doing this job? Uh, you know, normally what we expect when we arrive here, mm. high volume of traffic expected. So. We, we put our tent in every day when we arrive here, when we come here, we make sure that all the motors coming from the south, the north, facing uh, uh, the CBD run back. Yeah. We make sure the cars are, they, 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 they come outside in time. All right, and how long do you guys spend at a given intersection? Uh, on this one, normally we spend about uh, three to three and a half, four hours wow. daily. Yeah. It's at a.m. and p.m. Mm -hmm. And the morning I pack around uh, 9 o'clock, 9 ish, uh, 9, it's less, getting less. That's where we're not at. What is the most difficult intersection to have? Wow, wow. I'm, I'm glad you asked that question, mm. man. Uh, there's one in Edinville. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which, yeah. which it's called Motorfontein and Van Rebeek. I know that that's, road, that's, yeah. That's it's the crucial. main road in Edenvale, yeah, going to that's, Modern Vincent, yeah. That's the one crucial which uh, that's need your focus. And uh, by the grace of God, as we uh, well trained and experienced, uh, we, we, we love working there and we manage it very well uh, due to the, uh, the high volume of traffic coming from the east end huh. towards the south and the west, the west side. Yeah. So, the uh, motor they say they appreciate what we do, so they inspect us and we're liking wow. it. We're liking it. Wow. They love we getting there at 72. Yeah, I can imagine, man. Mm -hmm. Can we talk through some of the hand signals, man? What are the basic hand signals of a pointer? Uh, what is stop, what is go, what is turn? Uh, actually, it's, 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 it's depending on the road that you're working on. Okay. Like, firstly, when you're approaching the uh, motor is coming, mm. that you're about to stop, you start phase, uh, start raise your first hand. Okay. And then you point, that says you, and yeah. then you make sure you focus and concentrate on the motorist, and then you start opening your legs. That's when you show that you're stopped. Then when you stop, now you face a different direction that like yeah. you point cars at you and you that's your turn to go and those ones they go and the ones that come So it's like that, it's like that kind of movement. <laughs> it should be like that's how you do okay. these ones. Yeah. You're calling these ones at the back, you shouldn't get. Oh, you mean go this way it's at the back. Yeah, so there are cars passing in front of you, the one that's passing behind you. Oh, okay. So that's how you do it. And I these ones. Alright. That's okay. how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how so you that's do. okay, I like those movements. What would you say to encourage someone to maybe follow the same routes as you? You know what? It looks uh, an easy job, but it comes with challenges. Uh, and you need to be sure, 100% sure that yeah, what, what you into, you're going to give the best. Mm. You must give your best in this one. So it's not like, as you see in appointment, we are standing there controlling traffic. We're facing difficult challenges. Yeah. More especially uh, during this time, it's hot. Mm. Get cold and cold and when it rains, rain. So this one you, you, you must put your attention on it mm. and make sure that you, you are ready to face any challenges on the road. So but obviously then in the same breath like we're encouraging people to become pointsmen, right? What would you say then is the most dangerous part of this job? What what is the part of this job where you like 
and I'm going to be too close or uh, about, about <laughs> Bakwatel or something, you know? No, well, that one does happen, but you don't put that too much in mind that's going to happen because, like, if, if you put that, that demoralizes you, that yeah. destroys you. And you might bring that situation exactly. towards so you, yeah. you put that aside and focus on what you're doing and, like, you shouldn't be looking at the negative side. You should always sure. be positive and look at the positive thing about the job, the job that you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, yeah, any job that you do, there are those challenges mm. which you cannot shy away or run away from. Mm. So you need to face them. I get you. That's it, that's and what are you guys doing as far as like a man's and a lunch break? How do you guys do it? Yeah, how do you? Wow, how do you, yeah, wow. So you see your man's in the middle. Exactly, how do you exactly, sub exactly, out? Exactly. And yeah. As, as you see, we work in pairs. Yeah, yeah, no, it's there, there, There's a turn. You take turns. Like if, if, if he if he's like drinking water, he'll just turn oh, okay. under the break, and then you, at least in two minutes that we sip water and then ah. we get back, and then that's how we do in a routine. And you sub in. That's and that's so it. after the three hours, mm -hmm. you've dealt with the most, like the bulk of the traffic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So how do you excuse yourself from the intersection? Would man think, oh, dude, how do you uh, say yeah. to the drivers, would say, so we always stop again? Yeah, yeah, when, when we know things, well, we have our own patterns that we, we use mm. to show motors that we, we, we done for the day and then we're calling it a day. Mm -hmm. Like we, we stop all traffic in all directions, mm -hmm. showing that um, we're knocking off. Oh, and so you stop it in all yeah, directions. Yeah, okay. it's fine. See you tomorrow, it's 10 uh. tomorrow and then uh. cheers and then... And you're good. That's Do it, drivers yeah. sometimes give you tips? Uh, normally what we get on the road, that should be a bottle of water saying we thank you or maybe a yeah. packet of like there's cold drink or snacks or something. Saying, something, saying sharp. That's, that's nice, it, man. That's it, that's it. Listen, man, obviously now you guys are professional pointsmen. There's a lot of robots that are out of order all around the city. And obviously homeless guys, not like found a gap, you know? Yeah, yeah. What do you think about that approach? Do you agree with it or is it a little bit risky to have an otherwise untrained person directing? Uh, I mean, can you imagine? Umuntu how I'm born as I'm from Pemile, who says what direct traffic. What do you think about that? On that one, it's a two way or the other way. Mm. You see, with the guys, like they've been given goodies sometimes. Yeah. So I would prefer motorists instead of giving them money, mm. they should buy them uh, food or bread or something. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. normally, when I've uh, uh, realized on the road, when giving them money, they run to the nearest uh, shop and buy a bottle of wine and. Or whatever. It's, yeah. It's, mm. it's a risky consuming alcohol on the road. Mm. It's a risky to the motorists and themselves as well as they control the traffic there. Because mm. uh, those people remember, they're not saying mm. to be point there. Mm. They're not supposed to, uh, to do point on the road. They shouldn't be there in the first place. Yeah. So what can we do to hang and everything that's there to push yeah. them to do what they do? Because like, they've been given to this, like, a job to them. They yeah, do. exactly. So you're saying if I'm pulling up to a robot and there's uh, somebody on a qualifying or like this and it's controlling, should I listen to this person or must I just treat it like a four-way stop, in uh, your opinion? You, you know what? By the way, I've observed many intersections with uh, these guys controlling traffic. I think you should obey what they're doing because like, if you decide to do things differently, differently exactly, you might find yourself in danger, yeah. which uh, it's all right. you cause it or you cause it. So rather give that uh, reliability on him, rely on what he's doing, mm. and, and unlike the other way around, mm. uh, now two minds are like same thing. That's the it. Time. Okay, that makes yeah, sense, yeah. man. Um, I think we kind of came to a wrap here, man. Just in closing, bro. Mm -hmm. um, what words do you have to offer drivers, especially in Joburg? You know, we have an aggressive driving style. I'm yeah, sure yeah, you've yeah. seen some crazy accidents, man. Yeah, what would you say to anyone who's going to come across this podcast in as far as the way we approach driving, especially in Joburg, man? What, is, what would you say, especially because you watch drivers? What, do you, what are the things we're doing wrong and what are the things we do right as Joburg? Uh, firstly, I'll say we appreciate the love that we're getting on the road. For sure. We, what we ask for mostly it's their respect. Mm. Because what we do, we're trying to help the public, mm. people getting to work on time, sending school to, uh, to, to, to school or school on time. Uh, so what we demand on them, we know we understand during those peak hours. It's, it's a lot it's of stress. It's a mess. Yeah, it Everybody's is, yeah. frustrated. Mm. So we are a patching bag, a patching bag on the road. So we like to say we apologize for the delays on the road. And please be patient with us <laughs> as we are the green angels on the road. Love us and respect us. That's what we ask from the motors in the public and all that. Respect and love. Respect and love, my G. Thank you so much for your time, bro. Yeah. So you were saying it's this, no? That's how you go. That's how you go. Yeah, we die. For the day. <laughs> <laughs> my man, thanks, yo. Yeah.